What's up guys, I'm Ozzy and you're watching Bottled and Bond. Alright guys, so welcome back. On today's uh, episode, I want to talk a little bit about the United States Marine Corps and my experience throughout the last 13 years. Um, I'm also going to be sampling, um, not necessarily reviewing, but just sampling uh, three different bottles, one that I've already had. And those bottles are all Jack Daniels. It is a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, which is the one I've already sampled. The single barrel select and the single barrel rye. I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you guys what uh, the company itself has said about it. And during that process, I'm also gonna talk about my experiences in the Marine Corps. Coming up in the Marine Corps, uh, I experienced many different things that nobody else experienced because every Marine experiences their experiences a lot different from everybody else. We have different tolerations, we have different um, strengths and weaknesses, we have many different histories and experiences. When I was a junior Marine, I looked up to my NCOs and um, my NCOs were very knowledgeable, my corporals and my sergeants. They were good coaches, good mentors, and I looked up to them because they were very uh, work driven. They maintain, you know, great PFT, CFTs. They maintain uh, good rifle scores, swim calls, and all that stuff. So their green side was on point, but they also maintain a good blue side. They knew their MOS. They, they, they were knowledgeable, you know. They, they went on to become, you know, warrant officers and, you know, great stacking seals. Some of them did get out, but uh, they became successful on the outside world. But I really looked up to them, especially because of their knowledge. During their off time, they sought out many different ways to make the supply system better, the processes better, uh, their supply effectiveness better, make it easier for the officers and their staff and CEOs work-wise, right? Because they were creating these ad hoc. They were creating these, these different ways of nipping something in the ass and making it better and easier for them on a day-to-day -day, uh, work schedule. And I looked up to them a lot. And coming up, there was different things that uh, they taught me and they showed me to make me a better person and you know back then uh i was put on a uh nco the quarter board and i you know i, I didn't want to go you know i was a corporal and i was like ah, i don't feel like doing this and guess what they said hey you're still going right and then afterwards after i won that they put me on a uh meritorious sergeant board and i said i didn't want to go and same response you know you're still going i didn't have a choice um <clears throat> But they were great, and, that, and I thank them for that, for the way that they were. Hell, I thank my drill instructors for the way that they were. Um, I'm not going to say what happened in boot camp, because even though I can't necessarily incriminate them, maybe I can incriminate them. So I, I don't want to say what they did, but I still looked up to them. Even after all the harsh training that I went through, I still look up to them. Hell, I got one of them on my Facebook, you know, that I, I, I talk to every now and then. Um, but it, it, I looked up to many people when I was a junior Marine and even in the, in the NCO ranks and the Marine Corps is changing. The Corps is changing and it's changing a lot. The first bottle I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sample is the uh, single barrel barrel proof. Now I've had this on one of my episodes and it was very strong but it was delicious. Very expensive bottle, um, not necessarily over 100. It depends on where you're buying it from. I think this one was particularly $70. Um, so what Jack Daniels says is that uh, the barrel proof single barrel is whiskey as nature intended. Our master distiller has presented this whiskey as the proof yielded to us by our handmade toasted and charred American oak barrels specially selected for the depth of flavor. From grain to barrel to straight to the bottle, our barrel proof barrel, single barrel is available in very limited quantities for those who appreciate a pure tasting, a pure tasting experience. This is an aromatic surprising blah 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 blah. Best enjoyed with a few cubes of ice. The aromas say that they are surprisingly smooth with notes of sweet brown sugar, which I do pick that up. Rich toasted oak, I picked that up as well. And smoke, I'm not sure about the smoke, uh, with warm baking spices. Uh, taste is complex with layers of vanilla, tobacco, and a touch of smoke. Oh man, barrel proof. It's strong. And it's uh, complex with layers of vanilla tobacco in there. I get a little bit of the smoke. And the vanilla is very faint. And the finish is long lasting. 
I think it's pretty good. So coming up now, you know, I'm a meritorious sergeant, and you know, I I don't think I'm shit hot because every time I every time I pick the rank, I've always humbled myself. I surrounded myself with the peers that were in the same rank as I, but me being the junior one, I always wanted to learn and better myself. So as a junior sergeant, I surrounded myself with great other sergeants, you know, um, but it just wasn't the same. The NCO core, as I saw it as an NCO, as opposed to a junior Marine was different now. I saw those flaws. I saw the different things, you know, that I didn't see as a junior Marine because we spent more time together and I got to learn more, you know, and so uh, I'm coming into the NCO core being better taught and more knowledgeable than I was as a junior Marine. So could it have been that maybe the knowledge I possess now, I compared myself because I was so blessed to have the NCO core above me that now I'm coming into the NCO core as a sergeant, right? Uh, in a new unit and now I have all this knowledge and all this experience that now I'm starting to compare myself it was very competitive as a sergeant you, you were pulling teeth you were you know elbowing other sergeants just to get by and, and better yourself and be more successful because at the end of the day you were competing for that staff sergeant rank right at this point I also looked up to very few staff and COs um, some of them were great and some of them unfortunately were not after coming back from Afghanistan, I experienced a lot of different changes in my way of thinking. And unfortunately in 2015, I almost got out. Now here's what happened. In 2015, when I almost got out, it was due to stupidity, all right? I wanted to, I, I was pretty much clouded. My, my, my mind was clouded and I wanted to get out to go to school. I thought to myself, yeah, I'm just gonna go to you know university, maybe somewhere in Texas and you know just be successful. And the main reason for that was because I told myself the Marine Corps is changing, right? That's the second time I say that, the Corps is changing. And I complained a lot about the new millennials. And I complained a lot about, you know, how entitled they were. And here's the thing, I could say to myself all day, you know, I was born in 1984, I'm not a millennial. But in all technicalities, 84 included millennials. It's just different millennials act in a different manner depending on how they were raised and what time frame they were raised in and not all of them are necessarily entitled. The second bottle I wanna go ahead and uh, sample is the Single Barrel Select. And this states, Single Barrel Select Tennessee Whiskey is a signature of offering in our Jack Daniels Single Barrel Collection. Single Barrel blah, 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 94 proof. The whiskey has subtle notes of caramel and spice balanced with high, high fruit notes. I do get a fruity. So the aroma is robust and complex with rich caramel I do get caramel but it's not a rich caramel toasted oak and subtle fruit so I get the fruit I don't know I'm not too sure about the toasted oak the taste is rich toasted oak and complex barrel spices well balanced layered with integrated flavors of fruit and spice including cherry nutmeg and clove definitely barrel spices a little nutmeg not sure about the cherry it is kind of sweet though i like it it's very smooth going down and um the clove is not necessarily there it is well balanced easy to drink just neat uh it does stay here that uh jack daniel single bar select is best enjoyed neat on the rocks or in a classic whiskey cocktail because of the sweetness it'll pair up really good with a classic whiskey cocktail the finish is warm and lingering it's not lingering so much uh not as much as the uh burn aftertaste of the uh barrel proof and one of the biggest things that i remember from back then was that uh, one of my buddies who was in the drill field told me uh, and I quote you know instead of you complaining about how the Marine Corps is changing third time I say that and you complaining about you know how everybody's entitled and you'd rather be out because this is straight up BS and so much immaturity and it's like a high school why don't you be the difference and why don't you be the reason why it changes and you make that change and you realize and you stay in so that we are not left alone dealing with the crap or what you describe as bullshit right and he really did change my mind and you know there was a couple more key factors that came into play that changed my mind on um, re-enlisting or not. And I decided to stay in and I immediately, you know, soon thereafter the board convened and I got selected to Staff Sergeant. I'm very blessed to be selected to Staff Sergeant. And now here's a new light, right? Uh, immediately getting orders and coming, uh, going to New River. Those experiences were not necessarily good. It, it, as soon as arriving to New River, you know, I faced a lot of different obstacles that uh, really 
really tested my patience and um it was one bs after another you know and now here i am comparing myself to other staff and seals where at least other staff sergeants that were my peers with the knowledge that i have you know and it was even worse and it, like i said it started off kind of shaky but I, I pushed through it and what i liked about it was that as the years went by the staff corps got stronger and stronger and stronger to the point now that me exiting the Marine Corps, you know, at the unit that I'm in, the, the staff corps, you know, the staff and CO corps that's there is just immaculate. You know, we have great staff and CEOs, very knowledgeable staff and CEOs. They look after each other and it, it's like a family. It's like this bond that we had, you know. So it does sadden me, you know, exiting the Marine Corps after 13 years and leaving such a great staff and CO corps because the opportunities were endless. Um, but my problem with the current situation is that it's two things it's that now i look down on the ncos and i say are they those same ncos that i had whenever i was coming up and unfortunately the answer is no um i'm not saying it's everyone you know if this applies to you then you know put that shoe on because it fits but what i'm saying is it's just not the same um personally i would probably put myself in the blame game in that one because maybe we should have done a better job at uh, teaching those NCOs and instructing them and guiding them in a different manner. But what I also don't like is the fact that the, the knowledge now is at the top. You have these master gunnery sergeants and these master sergeants and you know some gunnery sergeants that are just so knowledgeable and have all this knowledge, but they don't necessarily have the time to sit down day in and day out with these NCOs, let alone the junior Marines, and teach them. That should be at the NCO level, right? And the problem is at the NCO level, there's, they're limited to the knowledge that they have. And, and you know, who knows who's to blame? You know, you could blame their instructors um, from the schoolhouse. Uh, you could blame uh, their staff and CEOs. You could blame myself. Who knows who, who's to blame, you know? Because you can only teach so much in a certain amount of time. And at that higher echelon of staff and CEO and officer, the seniority level, um, they don't necessarily have that time to sit down, like I said. So because of that, there's a lack of knowledge. And it, that's another thing that sat in me, it's in the core that we didn't, that I didn't leave a legit NCO core behind. And to be honest, when I picked up staff, when I picked up staff sergeant, I focused a lot on the Marines and I enjoyed training them and guiding them and lecturing them, sitting them down and trying to explain to them, you know, how the Marine Corps worked, how life worked, how to be successful, how to market yourself in the civilian life, how to be a professional, you know. But at the same time, I also taught them their MOS, <clears throat> how to be a professional successful logistician. And unfortunately, that time as a staff sergeant just was so short because it wasn't up until this year that I finally got my clearance back and I spent two years without it because of a lot of BS that I don't want to get into that really pissed me off um, and I didn't have that much time to actually sit them down and actually say but one person can only do so much you know and I, I, unfortunately I didn't have that backup to say hey you know what yeah let's, let's do this now let's teach them this now so I leave the Marine Corps after 13 years with a lot of great experiences and a lot of horrible experiences because there were times that my peers didn't support me. Fortunately, during this last year, my peers and my senior you know, leaders, they were there supporting me, holding my back, you know, holding me up and keeping my head up and instructing me and coaching me and lecturing me and mentoring me and it was great and I have my leadership to thank for that. And I tried to instill the same kind of compassion to the, the, the ones below me. But unfortunately, there are some that really didn't give a fuck, you know. And that's one thing that did piss me off leaving the Marine Corps. And it made me sad, you know, that if, if I'm going to spend the time to actually, you know, coach you and guide you and, and hold your hand and say, hey, this is how we should be doing this. Let me help you out. And you don't care. Personally, you don't belong in this institution. And... I'm gonna leave you guys with that note, but before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and try the rye. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye uh, says it's 70% rye grain bill, which is pretty good, bottled at 94 proof. 
It's uh, best enjoy neat on the rocks or obviously with the classic uh, rye cocktail, which means it should have a sweet note to it. The aroma, an enticing blend of sweet, soft fruit. I almost smell more fruit in this one than the uh, single barrel select. Mm, very sweet, sugary. Uh, I do get the rye spice on it and definitely a lot of oak as they state here. Um, the taste is uh, well-rounded rye whiskey brings out sweet caramel and dry baking spice. Oh, that's good. I do get the rye. Dry baking spice. I love it. This is great. Very sweet. It's a different sweet from the single barrel select. It's more like a rye sweet and uh, it's delicious. Pleasant lingering finish. Here's the thing about this. It is a pleasant finish. It's not lingering. And I feel the reason why it doesn't linger is because of the, the barrel proof. The first Jack Daniels. It's still there. It's still lingering strong is good but man is it strong so leaving the core after 13 years i will say this understand that the marine corps is here to train you and prepare you not only to be a rifleman not only to be a professional fill in the blank with your mos you know in my case a you know aviation supply logistician but they also train you to be a professional civilian to be a better self a better you than you were before you joined and you know through ethics and training and morales and everything you, you're supposed to come out of the marine corps as a better person not the same freaking person from back in the block better yourself become a professional because that's what the corps wants you to do and i'll leave you guys off with this whether you guys do four years or 30 years understand this as you're transitioning from you know from unit to unit or from from year to year understand that if you're gonna get out after four years two things the best unit out there is the one that you're going to if you decide to enlist is the one that you're going to and the best unit out there is the one that you're leaving believe it or not because the grass is not greener on the other side it's, it's really not. You're going to find the flaws in many different units and many different duty stations. So don't believe the hype of, well, maybe if I re-enlist and go to this unit, life will be better. Maybe it will. Maybe it, it won't. But I can guarantee you're probably going to want to go back to one of the previous units that you were in. But remember this. If you're only going to do four and say, okay, I did four. I'm, I'm out. You know, I'm good. You have no, it's no specific reason for why you're only going to do four. Give the core another chance. If you're getting out after four and you have no specific reasoning of why you should be getting out, give the core another chance. Give them at least eight years. Jason told me that and, and I took that to heart until this day I still preach it. Give the core four more years. Try something new. Go to a different unit. Go do a beat billet. Just expand your horizons. Just meet other people and go to a different coast. Just give the core another chance. But I will say this, if after those four years, you're just drained and you're just like, it's not fun anymore. And I really don't want to do this. Get the fuck out. The core doesn't need people who are not motivated and who are not there and willing to uh, learn and at the same time execute and train and better themselves and better the ones below them. You know, that's, if you're not into that kind of stuff, get the fuck out. We don't need people like you. Um, it, 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 you're done, you know? Nothing against you, but you, you're just done. Go do bigger and better things somewhere else, you know? Hopefully, you're not just gonna go to school and think you're gonna live off of a freaking BAH paycheck. Um, because technically, unless you live in a town that uh, where the cost of living is like 500 bucks for a nice little house or a nice little apartment, but the school you're going to, the cost of living there is $4,000 worth of BAH, unless that's the way you're gonna be living, you're not gonna make it off of just BH. You're gonna need a job or a career or something else. But um, like I said, give the core another chance. But once that time comes when you guys are just like you know not motivated and just ready to move on and you just don't have that drive, that passion anymore, just get out. You know, make, make room for the next person, train the next person, and let them be successful. And you go do uh, other things that will fit to your lifestyle. Nonetheless, if you have anything to say to anything that I said, any suggestions, any tips, any questions you might have about anything whether it was related to me or whether it was something that it applies to the Marine Corps or the military service, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know what you think. 
go ahead and hit the like button if you want to share this video definitely give it a share uh let other people see these are my opinions my experiences my suggestions and my history uh throughout the uh, 13 years that i spent in the marine corps many different great leaders and mentors um and some were just not that good, right? But I feel like every workplace and every uh, institution and organization will have that. They will have your great ones and your not so great ones. Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, three lineups of Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof, single barrel select, and rye, all delicious. Just be careful with the barrel proof. Pretty damn strong. Uh, catch me this Friday on Mix It Up Fridays. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ozzy. This is Bottled in Bond. Cheers.